Hello everyone. Um, in this video, I just want to do a review on the Ulanzi OP5, which is the Osmo Pocket for DJI Wide Angle Lens. Um, I bought this from Amazon for $15.95 using Prime and it arrived within two days. Um, it is made in China, like everything else. Um, it is made by a company called Ulanzi, who basically is a, I think, a photography lens camera accessory company. So let's unbox this and see what we have inside. Um, I'm going to have a link to Amazon where you can buy this on Amazon and um, would appreciate if you like this particular uh, lens that I'm reviewing. If you would like to buy it, please use my link. I get commission that helps support me to keep me doing this type of review um, for you guys. And I do very detailed review so that you guys can see the product before buying it and, and really see what it looks like, how it works, etc before you decide to order it. Okay, so as you can see, I just um, finished unboxing it. And this is the device, uh, the lens right here is very small. Um, I think it's probably about half an inch. Let me get my ruler here for inches. Yeah, I would say it's, it's a bit more than half an inch. So it's about, um, what is that, 5 8 And yeah, high 5 8 length and about half an inch width. So it's a pretty small device. And at the back, uh, as you can see, there is this magnet, these magnets here. And those magnets um, will help keep this device, this lens, keep saying device, this lens uh, attached to the DJI Osmo pocket, just like that. So I can feel the magnet pulling. It's not very strong, but it's strong enough to keep it there. So with, with the lens, on that's what it looks like I'll try to angle it in many ways so you can get an idea of what it looks like with and without it so that's without and this is with okay and from the side Try to get a good picture and focus here. That's without, and that's what it looks like with it. Okay, so uh, with the lens on, I did notice a slight defect. Okay, so this is what happened um, when you don't have the lens on and you turn on the DJI Osmo, it goes through the analyzation steps to not calibrate the gimbal, but to reset the gimbal so that it will be positioned correctly and everything works. There's no error um, after it goes through that five seconds of uh, reset, everything works. Now I'm gonna turn it back off and I will attach the lens, the wide, an wide angle lens on it properly. Make sure, yes, it is attached properly. And then I'm going to turn it on. And then you'll be able to see that it, it doesn't finish. It just keeps going up and down, up and down until it actually now says um, gimbal Protected tap to resume. That's what it says. Let's do that again 
up, down, up, down, up, down. It just never finished. And then finally it says, gimbal protected, tap to resume. So if I click on tap to resume, it tries it again, and then it actually would work and finish. So it's a bit strange why the second time works every time, but the first time always fail with that message. But again, um, I think it's, it's a, a, a slight oversight, uh, oversight from DJI. Um, people are going to put lenses uh, and polarizers on this camera as they have designed it that way because obviously the camera is not magnetic accidentally. DJI made it magnetic so that you can put different filters etc on it. Since this is my first attachment to the camera lens, I think this wide angle is a bit thick or large. I'm assuming by looking at pictures that other lens filters like UV filter, polarizer filter, etc., are actually thinner and it will not hit or influence the reset procedure that this particular wide angle lens did. So um, I'm going to show some pictures of what the uh, photos or the videos look like with and without the wide angle lens so that you guys can um, compare uh, the uh, uh, the increase on the width for the, this particular wide angle lens. Anyhow, this is, uh, I forgot, I almost forgot to tell you that this is the 12.5. Yeah, it doesn't say so in the box, but this is a 12.5 magnification. No, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I am confused. Um, I also bought another lens for macro lens, and that one has a um, magnification level. Um, specs for this one for a wide angle actually i'm trying to look for the millimeter focal length um and um, i'm not seeing it on the box so i want to know and i will i guess I'll, I'll put it on the video when i edit it to see what is the standard focal length that the dji standard camera without the attachment um, comes with and then when you put in the wide angle uh, filter or lens, what focal length then it would be after the wide angle. So I'll put that in the description and also put, put it as a, a title or one of those subtitles on the video. Okay, so um, yeah, so this is the Ulanzi wide angle lens. I'm not going to be attaching it all the time. I'll just have it stored in this protective box and uh, use it once in a while um, yeah the wide angle they, they tell me is is nice to have because this camera is just not like the GoPro where it's wide angle and uh, supposedly with this particular attachment it would be somewhat the same like the GoPro I don't have I don't own a GoPro so I wouldn't know uh, if that's true or not but here is a before and after picture this is before this is after, before, after, without wide angle, with wide angle. I noticed that when the wide angle lens is put on, there are some blurring around the entire image or video. If you look closely to the right hand side and left hand side, there is this cylindrical blur uh, when the wide angle lens is on. That pretty much concludes this video for the review of the Ulanzi wide angle lens. Um, I hope this uh, review has been useful for you and if you like to buy the wide angle lens please use my Amazon link below. Uh, I do receive commission, very small, but it helps me uh, going to create more videos like this. And I appreciate uh, you watching. Please subscribe to my channel. 
if you like to watch more in-depth review of uh, products that I buy and I use and uh, can be useful for you. Thank you.